Microsoft Word 210 Headers and Footers Applying different headers and footers to different sections. Here we have a multi-page document. We can scroll down through it and as you can see there's multiple pages within this document. If I click on the Show Hide icon we can see as well as having multiple pages the document also contains multiple sections. As you can see there's a section break here if we scroll down there's another section break there and there's various other section breaks within the document. So I'll click here so you no longer see the, se the section breaks. In order to insert a header I just simply click or double click in the header area and I can type in um, a header such as security issues. Now here we are it says header section 1 security issues and you'll notice that all the other um, headers here in the, um, the following on sections all have exactly the same header. By default it says same as previous so even though this is section 2 by default the header here is the same as previous and if we go down all the way to the end here you'll find that uh, here we are in section 4 it's still got exactly the same header as section 1 because all of these things here they all say same as previous. So let's click within section 2 here if we want to have um, a different header within section 2 at the moment notice it says same as previous all I have to do is go over here to where it says link to previous by default if I move away from that if I, I look at that and by default it's got uh, link to previous activated if I click on that you see it no longer says link to previous so that is now separate so I can call this something different like uh, chapter 1 So you can see the difference. Section 1, header 1, in, the, the header in section 1 says security issues. Over here in section 2 we're talking about uh, chapter 1. And if we go down, all the headers and all the sections that follow this all talk about chapter 1. So if we go down to uh, the next section, so we've got section 1 here, section 2. Let's go and find section 3 within the document. So here we are, this is section 3. I click here within section 3 in the header at the moment it says same uh, same as previous if I click on this button here that is no longer the same as the previous so I can call this one chapter 2 so here we are we're in um, the header area in section 3 and if we scroll down you can see all the following uh, items here they're all the headers they all say chapter 2 so let's go down to section 4. Section 4 is still linked to the previous version it says same as previous so let's click, click within uh, chapter 4 we click on this button again to unlink it so it's no longer same as previous and we'll call this uh, chapter 3 and you notice that all the, uh, the rest of the headers all within section 4 all say chapter 3 so let's go back to the beginning and see what we've got we've got a header within section 1 that says security issues We've got a header within section 2 that says chapter 1. We've got a header within section 3 that says chapter 2. It carries on there. And within header 4 we've got a different header that says chapter 3. So that's basically how you have different headers within different sections within a multi-section document. It's as simple as that. Right, applying different headers and footers to the first page. We'll bring up a document here and as you can see it's already got a header in it, it just says computer security and if we go down here it has exactly the same header on every single page there. If we double click within the header area here you'll notice we've got various options here and this one here says different first page. If I click on this look what happens. The first page is now different, it's taken off the, um, the first page header. The rest of the headers all stay as they were. Now I could just simply leave it at this, I could have it so that there was um, no header on the first page of the document which is quite a common um, formatting technique or I could put a separate header in there so I'll type in um, the name of the company and I can format that if I want to so it matches up with everything else so if I go here quickly I can say bold, let's use um, italic formatting 
So basically I've got um, a separate header here. I can have totally different formatting. I can center it, do anything I want. I can give it a different color. The point being, as you can see, there's no relation between uh, this header and the other headers. So the, the, um, the header on the, uh, the first section is separate. And as I said, that was really easy to do, as you've just seen. So as you go down to the rest of the document, we all have exactly the same header, apart from the first page, which has a, a different header. Applying different headers and footers to odd and even pages. Right, here we've got a document, it's a multi-page document. And as you can see, in all cases, they've got exactly the same um, header here, it just says computer security. If I double click in the header area here, I'll just select that and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'll just copy that to the clipboard with Control C. Right, at the moment I, I've got exactly the same header on every single page. Now you notice one of the options here is different odd and even pages. If I click on that, look what happens. This is my odd page here. Um, and then what I can do here is I can click on the home, home tab there. I can align that to the right. So basically, I've got an odd page header there that's aligned to the right. If I click in the even section here, and I'll just uh, do Control V to paste that, um, that data in there. What I've got here is an odd page, sorry, an even page header, which is aligned to the, uh, the left. And over here, I've got, an odd, uh, sorry, I've got an even page header aligned to the left. And over here, I've got an odd page header aligned to the, the right. If I go down, you see that's repeated all the way through. So that's basically how you have different odd and even pages. Uh, this can be particularly useful if you're doing um, two-sided printing um, and you want, for instance, the page numbers to show out on the extreme edge of every left and right page. If I press Control F2, Control F2 is the shortcut for bringing up the print preview here. And as you can see, that's how the first page would be printed. So there's the header there aligned to the right. If I go down here to look at the next pages, you can see exactly how it's going to print. It just looks more professional. So for instance, um, we've just done the headers here. If we were going to do the footers, we could have it so the page number here uh, on this page was displayed here and the page number over here was displayed here, as opposed to all being centered or both being aligned to the left. So it's just an extra formatting option you have when uh, you use uh, different titles for odd and even pages. Just looks more, just looks more professional.